day, everyone. Welcome to our new lesson in general mathematics, particularly the future and present value of simple and general annuities. Our objectives for this video lesson are recall simple and general annuities and to compute for the future and present value for the simple and general annuities. So before we proceed on solving or on computations, let us recall first the terms and concepts needed to solve for the future and present value. The first one is the annuity. Like what I've told to you on the previous video lesson, these are the payments that are equal or fixed in a particular period of time. Next, the first type of annuity is the simple annuity. The keyword here is same. Parehas ng payment, your interval, and the interest period. Then the next type of annuity is the general annuity, wherein it is not the same. So kabaligtaran lang niya yung simple annuity. Magkaiba ang payment period at saka yung interest period. The next one is the future value. Pag sinabi natin future value, the amount after the years that the lender receives from the borrower on the maturity date. Pag sabihin, yung mismong principal amount plus yung interest na nakuha. So, total nun. Yun na yung maturity value or yung future value. And the last one is the present value wherein it talks about the sum of present values of all payments to be made during the entire term of the annuity. Okay? Kumbaga, parang yan yung basis ng pinagmulan ng ating interest rate. Now, the key terms, I want you to remember this. Pagka sinabi natin monthly, kada buwan, or every month. Pagka naman quarterly, every three months. Bakit? Kasi pag sinabi natin quarter, four parts. Kumbaga, sa isang buong taon, we have 12 months divided by 4, kaya every 3 months. And then, semi-annually, pag sinabi natin semi-annually, semi means half and annually means year. Kaya, big sabihin, half of a year, kalahati ng isang taon, kaya every 6 months. And then, once we say annually or yearly, kada taon, every year. So, yan yung mga terms na karaniwang gagamitin natin on our problem solving. So, please do remember that. Now, our first formula here is the future value of simple annuity. So, anong ibig sabihin ng mga symbols na yan? F pertains to the future value. R is the regular or periodic payment o yung pare-parehas na bayad. And then, the J represents the interest rate per period wherein we have here the formula for J, I raised to M. It pertains now to the interest rate. And M pertains now to the conversion per year, the number of conversion per year. At ito yung atin nating tatandaan pag sinabi natin annually, M is equal to 1 kasi nga isang taon. Semi-annual, half of a year, kumbaga, sa isang buong taon, dalawang beses ka magbabayad. So, M is equal to 2. Then quarterly, we have 4 parts. For that year, M is equal to 4. And then monthly, kada buwan, Meron tayong 12 months, kaya M is equal to 12. And then, N pertains to the total number of conversion, o sa madaling salita, that is the number of payments, ilang beses ka magbabayad, na may formula na N is equal to M times T. Mas lalo natin itong mauunawaan on the problem solving. So, I hope you could still recall this, our example on the previous video lesson about Mrs. Remoto, who would like to save 3000 Pesos every month in a fund that gives 9% compounded monthly for 6 months. So we have here the cash flow. Para siyang number line. Yung nasa taas ay interval, particularly for the 6 months. And yung nasa babang amount, yan yung regular payments. At meron tayong conclusion dati that that is a simple annuity. Basically because ang payment period niya ay every month. Tapos, ang interest period ay compounded monthly. Kaya simple annuity kasi same. Now, if we're going to talk about find the future value. So, we have two processes. So, gagamitan natin ang cash flow na ang formula ay F is equal to 1, a P times 1 plus J raised to N. 
na kada isang buwan ay may particular na amount na ang nag accumulate lang ay yung uh, first to fifth month, tapos yung sixth month ay hindi na, pag a din lang natin yan, ang makukuha nating amount is 18,340.895. Now, paano nakuha itong 0.0075? Yan po ay yung ating J. So ulit, pag sinabi nating J, that is I raised to M over M. Okay po. E dito sa problem na to, ang interest natin ay 9%. And then, ang M natin ay compounded monthly. So, that is 12. So, divided by 12 or the 9%, that is 0 0.09 divided by 12. Kaya ang J natin ay 0 0.075. At kung mapapansin nyo, ang technique lang dito, yung letter N, pabawas lang ng pabawas ng value. Kumbaga, on the first month, may limang buwan ka na lang nababayaran. And then on the second is apat na lang, 4, 3, 2, 1. Kaya hindi na nag accumulate itong panghuli. Then ang total natin is 18,340.895. Ang crucial lang dito is yung pag-cut natin ng decimals. Kaya kung mapapansin nyo sa mga susunod na video lessons, uh, sa mga next uh, topics, malaking epekto kapag kinakat natin yung mga decimals. So, may isa pang way ang paggamit ng formula. So, we're going to use the formula for the future value. So, i-analyze natin ulit ang problem. Ang given natin, ang R o yung regular payment ay 3,000. Kasi every month mo yung ginagawa. Kaya yung regular payment mo. And then, the time here is hanggang kailan daw? 6 months. Ay, ang 6 months ay kalahati ng isang taon, kaya 0.5. Okay, so, wag malilito, half of a year. Next one. I raised to M, o yung interest natin, ay 9%. O, ang katumbas ay 0 0.09. Na nagaganap daw, compounded monthly. Kaya, ang M natin ay 12. And then, our J, sinabi ko na yan kanina, I raised to M over M or the interest rate per period ng katumbas ay 0 0.09 divided by 12, which is 0 0.0075. And then N, the total number of payments na may formula na M times T. So kunin mo lang yung M, which is 12, at ang T natin ay 0 0.5. So 12 times 0 0.5 is equal to 6. So madaling salita, Every month kang magbabayad eh. Eh hanggang 6 months ka lang. So, ibig sabihin, anim na beses kang magbabayad. Kaya 6 po ito. Then afterwards, we're just going to substitute the values. So, as simple as that. Substitute lang natin. So, F is equal to, ang R natin ay 3,000. So, ingat lang sa pagsasubstitute. And then, 1 plus ang J natin ay 0 0.0075 at ang N natin ay 6. And then minus 1 over our J is 0 0.0075. So simplify lang natin muna yung nasa loob ng ating brackets, particularly dito sa ating may parentheses. So we will have here 3,000. Then 1 plus 0 0.0075 is as simple as 1.0075 raised to 6 minus 1 over 0 0.0075. So for this case, I would like to suggest na gamitan na natin siya ng calculator. So I want you to get your scientific calculator. I'm using on this video lesson is the decimal scientific calculator. So, type ni lang doon sa ating Google, Desmo Scientific Calculator, and lalabas na po ito. And then, pakikopya lang po ng tama yung ating given. Uh, diba? 3,000 ang nauna. So, ang itatype muna natin ay 3,000. Okay? And then, walang operation symbol sa pagitna nila. Ibig sabihin yan ay times. Dahil wala tayong bracket, parenthesis ang gagamitin, at kung mapapansin nyo ay fraction, 
So, ang fraction symbol dito is A over B. Ayan. And then, parenthesis ulit. 1.0075. Parenthesis. Ang exponent ay A raised to B. Raised to 6. And arrow right. Minus 1. Bring it down. Then, 0 0.0075. At kung mapapansin nyo, Lumabas na agad yung sagot, 18,340.89404. Okay? So, pakisundan lang maigi ang ating um, solution. Dapat kopyahin ng tama dun sa calculator. Okay? So, paki-round off lang po ang ating decimals into two decimal numbers. Yung ating final answer, ang katabi ng 9 ay 4. Kaya as is tayo, no need to round it up. Kaya ang final answer natin ay 18,340.89. So, I hope that is very much clear with you. So, ang ating future value ay nagkakahalaga ng 18,340.89. Okay, so I hope that's clear. Let's have another example for this future value. In order to save for his high school graduation, Jonathan decided to save 250 pesos at the end of each month. If the bank pays 0.30% compounded monthly, how much will his money be at the end of five years? Okay, so let's get the given. R, or the regular payment, is 250 pesos kasi yun yung gagawin niyang savings. And then T is the five years hanggang limang taon. And then I raise to M or yung interest natin is 0.30%. Pang katumbas into decimal is 0.0030. Paano ulit nakuha yan? Recall lang natin. I-move mo lang yung decimal point into two decimal places. Kaya naging ganyan. And then M, tuwing kailan ba nangyayari yung interest? It is compounded monthly again. Kaya ang M natin ay 12. And then ang J, interest rate per period. So, yung I natin is 0 0.0030, i-divide lang natin kay 12. Ang sagot ay 0 0.00025. And then, ang N, total number of payments, M times T, so 12 times 5. Kada buwan ka magbabayad eh hanggang limang taon, kaya minultiply lang natin yon ang sagot ay 60. So, as simple as that. And then, we're just going to substitute and solve. So, ang ating regular payment ay 250 pesos. Tapos, 1 plus ang J natin ay 0 0.0025. Ang N natin ay 60 minus 1 over 0 0.0025. And then, dating gawin lang. I-simplify natin ng ayos yung mga kaya nating ma-simplify manually. So, we will have 1 plus 0 0.0025 is 1.0025 raised to 60 minus 1 over 0 0.0025. And get again our calculator. Then, try to copy everything properly. You can pause this video lesson for you to try it on your own. So, copy it properly. 250 times, parenthesis, fraction, parenthesis again on the numerator, 1.00025, parenthesis, exponent A raised to B, that is raised to 60, arrow right, minus 1, down, 0 0.00025. Then arrow right, parenthesis, and that's it. Ang sagot natin is 15,111.16. And that is our future value. Okay? So, 15,111.16. Okay? So, I hope that's clear. That is the future value. And now, let us proceed on getting the present value for the simple annuity. So, kung mapapansin nyo, almost the same lang ang formula. Ang nagkaiba lang, nagkapalit yung pwesto ng 1, kasi karaniwan, di ba, minus 1 yung kanina. Ngayon naman, 1 minus. 
quantity 1 plus j, tapos yung ating exponent naging negative na. So, mas madaling tandaan. And then, we have the same process ng pagkuha ng mga values. Nag-iba lang dyan, p is the representation for the present value. Then, the rest, same lang din po. So, please take note of that. Okay? Let's now have an example. Rose works very hard to have enough money when she retires. She wants to withdraw 30,000 pesos every three months for 20 years, starting three months after she retires. How much must Rose deposit at retirement at 10% per year compounded quarterly for the annuity? Okay? So, gusto niyang makakuha ng 30,000 every three months. So, magkano ang dapat niyang i-deposit? para makakuha siya ng ganyang retirement fee. So, magamit tayo ng formula for the present value. Ang regular payment daw sa kanya is 30,000. Tapos, that is for 20 years. Kaya ang time natin ay 20 years. And then, ang interest natin ay 10% or 0 0.10. Kailan daw yun nangyayari? Compounded quarterly. Kaya, ang ating value ng M ay, ano sa tingin nyo? Okay, very good. That is 4. Kasi nga, quarterly. So, pakitandaan. And then, ganun ulit. Kukunin lang natin yung J, interest per period, 0 0.10 divided by 4. The answer here is 0 0.025. And then, total number of payments, M times C, that is 4 times 20, which is 80. And then, substitute lang. So, P is equal to 30,000. Kasi yun yung R natin. And then, 1 minus 1 plus ang J natin is 0 0.025 raised to negative 80. And then, over 0 0.025. And that's it. Katulad lang ng ating ginagawa sa 30,000, 1 minus 1.025 raised to negative 80 over 0 0.025. So, in case na wala kayong scientific calculator, gawin nyo lang, unahin nyo muna itong numerator dun sa i-input sa inyong calculator. Then, Punta kayo, uh, pagka na-equals nyo na yan, divide lang diretso, 0 0.025. Then, pagka-equals din nyo, times agad sa 30,000 para makuha nyo rin yung exact value. Okay? So, let's now get our scientific calculator. So, 30,000. Okay? Dapat tama yung bilang ng 0, ha? Times parenthesis. Let's have the fraction. 1 minus parenthesis 0. Point, uh, sorry, that should be 1.0.025. 1. 1. And then parenthesis exponent negative 80. Then bring it down 0. 0.025. Okay, and then parenthesis. So ang ating sagot ay 1,033,554 Oh, 517. Ang katabi ng 1 ay 7. Kaya mag a 1 ka na. Kaya magiging 0.52. Okay? So, wag yung kakalimutan. So, let's now write. Our present value is 1,033,554.52. Kasi nag-round up na tayo. Okay? Another example. Find the present value of an ordinary annuity if John will pay 2,000 pesos monthly for 5 years with interest rate of 12% compounded monthly. So, given ulit, 2,000 monthly, kaya yun yung ating regular payment, and then T is for 5 years. Then our interest natin is 12% is equal to 0 0.12, and then monthly kasi, kaya ang MD natin ay 12, at ang ating J or the interest rate per period, divide lang natin sa 0 0.12 divided by 12, that is 0 0.01. At ang total number of payments natin, M times T, 12 times 5, that is 60. And that's it.
your turn. You can pause this video for you to try on substituting the values and solve for it properly using your calculator. So 1 minus 1 plus ang J natin is 0 0.01 raised to negative 60 divided by ang J natin is 0 0.01. Okay? And then 2,000. 1 minus 1 .01 0.01 raised to negative 60 all over 0 0.01. And then let's now get our calculators. Clear natin. So 2,000 times parentheses, fraction 1 minus parentheses, 1.01 parentheses, exponent negative 60. Importante ang parentheses kasi ang nalalaman ni calculator ko rin dapat niyang gawin kung ano yung dapat una. Okay? Divided by 0 0.01 then parenthesis. Kaya ang ating sagot ay 89,910 point. O, ang katabi ng 7 ay 6. So, 5 and up. Kaya mag a one tayo. So, ang ating final answer ay 89,910 point zero eight. Okay, I hope that's very much clear with you about the future value and the present value for the simple annuity. Ulet pagka simple annuity, parehas ng payment period at parehas din po ng interest period. Kaya yan ay simple annuity. Wag ka kalimutan. Bakit? Kasi pagdating sa general annuity, Parehas pa din naman ang ating formula except for getting the J. Kasi doon sa J natin, meron na tayong gagawing conversion. Okay, yun yung ating pag-uusapan ngayon. So, walang kukurap. Let's have this problem. Mr. Cruz started to deposit 2,000 pesos monthly in a fund that pays 5% compounded quarterly. How much will be in the fund after 10 years. So, analyze muna natin bakit siya naging general annuity. Magde-deposito siya monthly. Pero ang interest period ay compounded quarterly. So, not the same. Kaya, yan ay general annuity. Okay? Now, let's have the problem. Kunin natin ulit yung given. Ang given natin, the R is 2,000. Kasi magde-deposit siya ng monthly. Hanggang kailan? 10 years. Tuwing kailan nagaganap yung ating um, interest period compounded quarterly. Kaya M is equal to 4. Na ano ang interest rate? That is 5% na ang katumbas ay 0 0.05. Iba yan dito sa find the total number of payments. Ang pinag-uusapan na natin dito ay payments. Okay? So dun magbabago yung value ng M. Tuwing kailan daw siya nagbabayad? Monthly. Monthly ang payment mo. Kaya ang M mo ay 12. Tapos, tuwing hanggang kailan? 10 years. Kaya ang T mo ay 10. So, 12 times 10 is equal to 120. So, 120 times kang magbabayad. Then, ito yung pinakamahirap, yung conversion. We need to convert the 5% compounded quarterly to its equivalent interest rate for monthly payment interval. So, let's start with the formula for the future value from monthly to quarterly. So, bago natin magamit uh, yung ating formula na yan. Okay? So, we will have this case. Yung P times 1 plus I raised to M over M raised to M T. At kung mapapansin ninyo, parehas lang naman na may P. So, kakancel na natin tong P at saka yung T. Ititira lang natin yung M kasi yun yung i-convert nga natin. Okay? So, from monthly to quarterly. Okay? Or uh, the other way around, basta meron tayong value na ng quarterly, ito yun. Yung M is equal to 4, yung I raised to M, 
Magiging 4 yan. So, yan ang katumbas natin na I raised to 4. Okay? And then, substitute lang natin nga yung mga M natin. Yung M ay naging 12. Tapos, dito naman sa quarterly, dahil nga quarterly ay 4. So, substitute lang natin yun. And then, simplify natin. Yung I raised to 4 is 0 0.05. Kaya po nagkaganyan. And then, solve nyo lang natin to. Itong 1 plus 0 0.05 over 4. Na ang katumbas po niyan ay 1.0125. Okay? Then, so, ang target natin, matira lang to. Okay. So, anong gagawin natin? E may exponent pa tayo ng 12. So, get the reciprocal. Kunin mo lang yung reciprocal ng 12, that is 1 raised to 12, erase mo lang yan para makancel natin to. Okay? So, ang matitira na lang ay 1 plus i raised to 12 over 12. Tapos, pag sinimplify natin to, 4 and 12, matitira dito ay 3, kaya naging 1 third. Okay? Tapos, ang gamitin natin ay yung ating uh, calculator. So, magiging 1.0125 exponent fraction, that is 1 over 3. Ayan. So, ang makukuha natin is 1.0041494.25. So, ganyan siya kahaba. Okay? So, tapos, yung 1 dito, kailangan mo siyang ilipat sa kabila. Kaya naging minus 1. Okay? So, for this case, iba ito, then minus 1, kaya naging 0 0.004149. Iba sobrang haba ng ating decimals. Kunin nyo lang daw po at least 6, 6 na decimal numbers. Okay? So, sabi, round off to 6 decimal numbers. So, sobrang, da sobrang haba kasi. Okay, so with that, nakuha na natin yung letter J. So, substitute na natin ng tama. Ang R natin ay 2,000. And then, 1 plus ang J natin, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, hanggang 9 lang kukopihin natin. 0 0.004149. Okay, and then, ang N natin ay 120. Then, minus 1. All over, ang J natin is 0 0.004149. Okay, and that's it. Kunin na natin ang ating calculator. So, madali na naman yung i-simplify. So, magiging 2,000 times parenthesis fraction. 1 plus lang naman yan. So, 1.004. 1, 4, 9. Okay, tama ba? Okay. And then, raise to 120. Okay, then arrow right, minus 1. Bring it down. J natin is 0 0.004149. And then, parenthesis. So, ang nakuha natin ay 310,212.50. Six. So, ganun lang siya. O medyo may hirapan lang tayo dito sa ating conversion. Okay? So, ingat lang tayo sa ating mga values. And that's it. That is the future value for the general annuity. Okay? Then, the last one. Last example. Chris saves 3,000 pesos every six months in a bank that pays 0.7% compounded monthly. How much will be his savings after five years? So, every six months to. Tapos ito compounded monthly. So, magkaiba ulit. Kaya, iyan po ay general annuity. Use again the formula. Get the given. R is 3,000 pesos. And then, T is five years. Compounded to kailan? Monthly. Kaya, M is equal to 12. Ang interest rate natin is 0.7% or 0.007. Then, find the total number of payments. Focus on the payments, ha? So, tuwing uh, kailan nagbabayad ng 3,000. So, that is every 6 months or semi-annual. Kaya ang M natin ay 2. Tapos, ang T natin ay 5. So, 2 times 5 is 10. Kumbaga, sa isang buong taon, 
ay dalawang beses lang siya nagbabayad. Eh, five years yan, kaya ten times. Then, conversion ulit tayo. We're just going to convert it. So, we have here the semi-annual. Yung monthly natin, gagawin natin siyang semi-annual. So, ito ang ating I raised to 12. Okay? So, dating gawe Tatanggalin lang natin yung ating P at saka yung ating T. Then, dahil semi-annual, ang M ay magiging 2. Tapos, ang monthly natin magiging 12. Yung M. Tapos, substitute lang natin. Yung I raised to 12 natin is 0 0.007 divided by 12. Substitute lang natin. Simplify natin. Rather, yung nasa loob ng parenthesis, magiging 1.00583 raised to 12. At dahil kailangan natin tanggalin yung square dito sa labas, kunin mo lang yung reciprocal that is 1 half. So, makakancel na to. And then, 12 divided by 2 is 6. Kaya po naging ganyan. And then, lipat lang natin sa kabila yung 1, kaya naging minus 1. Ang makukuha natin is 0 0.003503. Okay, just uh, type it in your calculator. And then, don't forget, 6 decimal numbers lang ang ating kailangan. So, substitute lang natin yan. Ang R natin ay 3,000. And then, 1 plus ang J natin ay 0 0.003503. Ang N natin ay 10. And then, minus 1. Over 0 0.003503. Okay? So, with that, then 3,000 ito. So, magiging 1.003503. Erase lang natin siya kay 10 minus 1 over 0 0.003503. So, simplify lang natin nasa loob ng parenthesis. And the last way is try it in our calculators. So, 3,000. Times parenthesis fraction 1.003503 and then exponent that is 10 arrow right minus 1 arrow down 0 0.003503. Okay, so ang nakuha nating value ay 30,477 point. Ang katabi ng 4 ay 9. Kaya round it up tayo, magiging 0.35. Okay? So, ang final value natin ay 30,477.35. And that is our future value. Okay? Just practice it and you can do it. Thank you so much and God bless us all.